man most difficult challenge has always been using his free will correctly. The struggle which the influencers are trying to sway or trying to influence man's free will or his choices, this struggle against those influences has always been an intense, intense battle. This battle, as you all know, started from a time that man existed in paradise. Choosing freely and choosing correctly depends upon being able, being able to see the true light or to see through the true light of Jesus Christ. This miracle, the healing of the blind man, demonstrated when Jesus restored the sight back to this man that was born without eyes, it demonstrated how crucial it was for choosing the correct thing and seeing things in a correct way under the light of Jesus Christ. Through the healing of this blind man, Jesus restored also the physical as well as the spiritual side of the entire humanity. This miracle emphasizes that there is no understanding or there is no correct understanding and there is no confession of the truth without finding Jesus. Even though, as we heard from the reading of the healing of the blind man, even though the merits of the miraculous healing of this man were irrefutable, people could not see and could not confess the truth. The light of sight, the light or the ability to be able to see that Jesus gives does indeed and will always lead to seeing, accepting, and more importantly, defending the truth. The light given by Jesus Christ empowers, empowers us to see our blessings. This is another benefit or another meaning that Jesus is the light of the world. Without his light, we don't see our blessings. Through the light of Jesus Christ, we are, giving, we are given the humility and the courage to praise and to worship the true God. Without the light of Jesus Christ, we cannot become aware of our sins. Christ opens our eyes and enables us to see every action that we have ever done which contradicted the holiness of God. Jesus can open our eyes through his light to see the truth, the truth about everything, the truth about our sins, to see the perspective of our sins from the, from the perspective through the eyes of God, 
not the way we see them. The light that Jesus Christ gives us can enable us to see the depth of our souls, the mire depth of our souls that was caused because of our sins. We become able to see everything within our souls that blocks or hinders the passage of the grace of God into our inner soul, into our depth. With Jesus Christ, a new set of eyes is given to us to see the danger that surround our souls, to see all the hunters that are invisible, that are trying to trap and destroy us. Through the light of Jesus Christ, we see the shield that God puts around us to protect us. This state of awareness that we obtain through the light of Jesus Christ purifies, purges us from our sins and from the consequences of our sins. This state of awareness can reverse our path, can reverse our sinful path. This path can be reversed if we obtain the state of awareness upon the earth. As long as we are in the body and we have the state of awareness, we can reach repentance and we can change our course. It would be too late, too late to do anything to reverse our path or to obtain healing if we gain the state of awareness after we depart from this body. This is what Jesus meant when he said, while it is day, while we are still in our bodies, while it's day, we must work the work of him who sent me. As long as we are alive, we are to do the will of God. Night comes, and night is a reference to the point when we are no longer in the body. Night comes when no one can work. So, having the light of Christ can reverse our path if we are in the wrong path because through the light of Christ we see the holiness of God and we match that. Thank you very much.